Six up-and-coming claims managers. Six ambitious candidates. All with one aim, to be crowned Claims Apprentice 2022. It's time for the final task of the Claims Apprentice. And the candidates brace themselves before they have to face Kennedy's partner and Marine Practice Head, Christopher Dunn. The fourth and final task, the interviews. Today you'll be saying goodbye to your colleagues in your teams and you'll be sailing your own ship. Today I want to know how you found the process, what you liked, what you didn't like too much, what you found to really gained from this entire experience. After chatting with you, I'll be consulting to those that have been involved as mentors to you on the various tasks you've completed. And following those discussions, I'll have the huge honour of crowning one of you the Claims Apprentice 2022. Good luck. One by one, each of the apprentices will sit down with Christopher Dunn, who will grill them about their experiences on the series, to find out what they've learned and what they will take away when they go back to their day jobs. Before seeing Chris, what are the apprentices hoping to bring across in their interviews? I'd like to bring across what I've actually brought to the table because it might not be clear on camera what I've actually done. I think just to show um, how I've contributed individually. I guess this is where we have the chance to explain from our perspective why you know, we think that, that we brought the most to the table. I want to tell him about everything that I've done within the team and make sure um, that I make him aware that I feel like I've been an instrumental member of the team. I hope that I can portray that I'm really hardworking and ambitious and driven um, and I really want to succeed and I would love to win the competition. What I want to see is a person that wants to strive and succeed from the experiences he's been through. As well as drawing information from the interviews, Chris will consult the mentors involved in each task and seek help from one of his trusted advisors, Jonathan Swift from Insurance Post, who has overseen all of the challenges. The first apprentice in the hot seat is Martin. So Jonathan, let's start with Martin Fleet. Tell me a bit about what he did through the process. Martin. I think has been a very good candidate through this process. Often be very thoughtful. I've, when I've gone into the room to watch the team dynamic working, he, he might not best be the leader, but he's always there. When ideas are suggested, he will sit there and he'll think about them. So I think he's definitely been a thinker in this process. What task did you lead in, if any? Possibly more so in the, the third task. And that's where we came up with the idea of the more stylistic video um, that, as David said, um, possibly lacking a little bit in uh, substance. So do you think you've done enough to win? I hope so. I hope so. As I say, it's a shame that we weren't as uh, polished as we could have been in the team challenges, but it's obviously a team event with an individual winner. At this point, I have to hope that the ideas I've put across have been enough to impress yourself and uh, okay. anyone else. Next up is Lewis. Well, let's move on to Lewis Cunningham, uh, the youngest in the process came down to London for the first time. From the word go with Lewis, he, he's impressed me. He might be the youngest of any of the contestants. In, in team build, he might not necessarily be the person who will be there from the front, taking the lead. But he's been very creative. He's, he's been very good at coming up with ideas. I think in the claims handling task, the idea that Penn most liked from their idea actually did come from Lewis. You know, he, he originated that idea. So tell me about your role then on the on the claims handling task, what did you do? The thing that I did on the claims handling task, which I thought was the best actually, was the pre-loss bit of the portal. And I think the claims managers from Penn actually really liked that idea. Even though we didn't win it, I think they really liked that pre-loss section of the portal. How have you found it being the, um, 
probably the youngest in there. Yeah, because I'm the youngest, I, I felt like there's not been as much pressure on me as okay. the rest of the the rest of the people who are doing the program. But it has. I've really I've grown a lot in confidence doing this program, which I didn't think I would, and I've I've learned a lot. What's the kind of one thing that surprised you about this entire process? It's probably a, probably how how I've got over my nerves. That's probably what surprised me the most how, about how even though I have had sweaty palms for three days straight, I have got through it and, you know, the world hasn't stopped turning. The third apprentice to see Chris is Jo. I think if there was a leader in team build, it was Jo. I think she took the reins. I think she's very organised. She, she, she wants to be organised. Sometimes the idea that we might have been multitasking with doing two tasks at once sometimes might have been kind of a bit like... Oh my God, that's, that sounds terrible. But once she's actually sat down and processed it all, Jo was, I think, was very good at, at organising her team. Yeah, you were the director of the, uh, the ESG <laughs> video, I heard. Came up with the concept together, and we just thought, you know, we've got one opportunity to try and grab the attention of the claims directors, put our idea across, so why not make it memorable? And I'm really proud of how it worked. The claims directors didn't, it didn't go our way with them, with the investment, but I'm still really proud of it, and I don't think I'd change much about it. Am I right in thinking that one of the things you wanted to kind of expand on when you joined this process was maybe increasing your confidence a little? Or? Yeah, doing things like this, being interviewed, being in front of cameras, presenting is really not my forte at all. So to sit here, be doing this, yeah, is definitely an achievement for me. What do you think you're going to take back to the office then? I'm definitely going to kind of pipe up a bit more in meetings, um, put myself forward to lead more meetings. Um, and that's really what I wanted to get, or one of the main things I wanted to get out of this was, was that confidence, yeah. It's Jordan Lewis's turn to meet Chris. So tell me a bit about Jordan Lewis. Well, no, I think Jordan, he's coming to the task, you know, he's, he's often again been uh, very much at the centre of the team. You know, he, he's, he's a larger than life character, you know, I think he's been very good at working with the team. You know, he's there, you've got, you've got Jordan and Sarah working together, you know, he's the only bloke in the team. But I think he's worked very well with them. Uh, when I interviewed him beforehand, he told me he was a team player. And I, I was quite intrigued to see how we'd, how that work and play out. And I think it's been played out actually much better than I thought it would do during the process. You look to me like you're going to be the most trouble when we met. Best behaviour as always. Have you, have you found it? Amazing. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'd recommend this to anyone, in all honesty. Um, meeting yourselves, Kennedys, everyone. It's just been amazing. Tell me a little bit about your favourite task then. What was that? I think the ESG uh, the, the, uh, was the best task because the leaflet on it I did, I did myself and all the tasks have been created but I feel like I could put my own little print on this one. Just having the time to, for me to be able to do what I really love which is being creative and coming up, with, coming up with new ideas and things like that. How did you all uh, separate the responsibilities? It was more of like we kind of put ourselves forward. Jordan came up with the initial idea and then that's where, once we've got the idea solidified, we just bounce off each other like that, that's how we work. Because it weren't, oh no, I think we should do this, oh no, I don't think we should do that. We literally bang, 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 and it was so organic the way we worked, it was just amazing. Next in the chair, it's Jordan O'Donnell. So Jordan O'Donnell uh, from Zurich, how did you how did you find her through the process? I think Jordan O'Donnell is is Team Unite's version of Joe. I think if there was a leader in that team, she probably was the leader. She's very ideas focused. She's very driven. As soon as she would, we we would set the task, she'd be thinking, you know, coming up with ideas, coming up with ideas, coming up with ideas. And she was very good at getting those ideas. And then perhaps you know, you then working with her team, working consultatively with her team and then bringing them through to fruition. How you've, how you've led on, a, on many tasks? I think naturally I'm quite an organised person, so I think naturally when I do teamwork at Zurich, I maybe step up a bit to, I think there needs to be someone kind of organising what's going on, so I'm quite a structured, organised person like ABC, so. What do you think you added to the team, apart from organisation? I think I brought some good ideas, hopefully, um, in task three, our idea I kind of came up with. So do you think you've done enough to win? I would hope that I'm in with a good chance of it. The last person to face Chris is Sarah. So finally, Sarah Bolton, um, one of the more experienced people in this process. How do you think she's come across? I think her team probably didn't have as much presentation skills as she did, and I think one of the reasons they won the claims handling task is they were very slick, it was a very slick presentation. I think Sarah really helped kind of hone that down. Well, you say you've learned a bit about yourself or learned something new, what, what have you learned? So uh, the ESG, I know some elements, but really going into depth um, with the other guys and then Denise, our mentor as well, to really kind of understand the impact yeah. of, of all of those. 
As well as the the video, that's something I've never I've, I've never done voiceover before. Is there anything about this process you've you've kind of made you think, God, I've learned something about myself here? Or things I've done before, you I've kind of had prep for it, so I knew what to expect. This time round, it was straight into it. This is the task. This is what you know going to have to do uh, in this space of time. So you know, being under pressure shows that I can actually work well under pressure. You think you've done enough to win? I think so. I think so. Um, I, I'm really happy with you know what I did. I think people have seen the real me. So yeah, I, I definitely think so. After six interviews and input from Jonathan Swift and the mentors, it's time for Christopher Dunn to decide who will be the winner of the Claims Apprentice 2022. Thanks again for coming back to the boardroom for the last time. Um, it's been an extraordinarily difficult decision. You're all extremely incredible people and unfortunately for you and for me, on my difficult decision, there can only be one winner. And the winner of the Claims Apprentice 2022 is... Lewis. Congratulations to Lewis for being crowned the Claims Apprentice 2022. How does it feel to be this year's winner? It feels great. I'm absolutely shocked, to be honest. I didn't think I'd win at all. At first, I turned down coming onto the programme because I didn't think I had any chance of winning. So I'm absolutely blown away. Don't know what to say, really. So what made Christopher Dunn decide Lewis was a worthy winner? As a very, very difficult decision. Um, this whole process is about finding innovative solutions and Lewis definitely had two of those that made him a real success. It was so close though, he could have been any one of the six, but Lewis just about got it by the nose. And so, after four challenges, we're finally able to announce the 2022 Claims Apprentice. It's congratulations to Lewis Cunningham from RSA. If you're interested in putting yourself or a colleague forward for the 2023 series of Claims Apprentice, send an email to the address on screen.